Hi, in today's video, we will learn how to extract data from Amazon. We are interested in the name of the product, the price, standard price, and also lower price if it has a special offer, and these bullet points. So, here is the Excel file. First, I will share demo then we will move toward the code section i will share step by step how you can do this so first let me explain the flow of this excel file so here i create different sheets for each version of amazon currently only for uk us and fr so the sheet name will be the code for each country let's suppose for amazon for France version, here you can see Amazon dot. Let me show you this one. You can see here Amazon dot FR, and here also for this one Amazon dot DE. This is for Germany. So that's why I assign name according to the country version. So for these essence or product ID. I am interested to search on Amazon French version and the fields in which we are interested the item name, standard price, lower price and the bullets these bullets points so how this will work I will select one as SN or multiple like this and when I click this button so it will open Chrome browser and extract these fields in which we are interested so for demo now I am selecting only this one pressing this button so you will see that it will open Chrome browser in French version because the name of sheet is FR you can see here FR so once it's done this will be closed and we can see our target fields in excel file now done so you can see here this is the name for this product on french version no standard price lower so that's why mt and the rest is selected these are the bullets point so now it's time to move toward the code section so I will share each step so you can do it easily on your site so first create new sheet and assign it name DE this is for German version of Amazon then make sure you have to use these Addings for each column that I external product ID, ID item name, standard price, lower price, etc. I am copying it from this for saving time and make sure you have to place it in column row 2. Sorry, row 2 like this, and you can change the position of each column according to your requirements if you want to item name place in column b c etc it will not affect it will extract and place it according to your headings you place it i place it like this you can change it according to your requirements but make sure you have to place it in row 2 then after it i am just for demo copying these two essence or product ids and pass it here so you can place your sn or product id here whatever it, if it is 10 20 or more than it now so it's done now we have to move toward the code section so i am pressing alt f11 from the keyboard and here is the code so let me explain it step by step 
so this is the name and get sheet name so it will uh, get the active sheet name active sheet dot name so it will save on country variable if country is equal to uk so for uk version amazon use amazon dot co.uk so that's why i apply condition here and for us.com so that's why i use here com so now we will find the index of each column so that's why i use here loop for i is equal to one to last column or i is equal to one to last column so if active sheet dot cell this is for row and this is for column so start from one up to last column then if found external product id then it will be assigned pid column and similarly for item name it will be assigned this variable similarly for bullets point b1 b2 etc and this is for standard price column and this is for lower price then after it this dim driver dim driver this is the default structure we are using from the very beginning so up to this now here is the man logic dim cls object so as i mentioned we will select like this one sn or two or more than so this is for this reason cell so when selection we select some essence or external products so it, it will loop on each cell and then get the sn or product id if sn is not equal to mt and bo is for make sure that it has a valid sn or product id so that's why i apply here bo to check also then with a dead link according to the current country version and then wait for 10 seconds so the page load properly then get name so this x path is for getting the name of the product this one and then after it if for some reason the product is not available so that's why i apply here this condition if item name is empty so place in item name column that this sn does not exist then this is for get bullets point these which i mentioned one two three four five so this is this loop is for getting the bullets and then the standard price so this loop is for getting the standard price of product and then the lower price this loop is for lower price so if you are watching this video for first time so kindly watch my early videos so you will know how these loops work what is x path and how we will find it according to requirements so here is done then next cell this loop exists and then close the chrome browser so now here in fr sheet i create a button so i am here also for you so what you have to do insert then here illustration and then select shape whatever you want i want to this one and drag it like this on edit text so i want to assign name it scrape then right click again and assign macro which is get amazon data then okay after this you have to left click these two essence or product ids and press this button so you will see it will go both these essence on french version you can see here de is germany version once it's done then it will close and we will see our target data will be placed in excel file now done you can see here for this product standard price available so it's extract and lower is not showing so that's why empty for this no pro standard price no lower price so that's why empty the rest is fine get all bullets point the name so we 
did it for germany version for these two product ids hope this will help you if you are facing any issue then kindly contact me i will be happy to answer your queries thanks